like, hey, like, storm came out of nowhere. I thought I'd be back by now. Okay. It's off to work for me. It's 7 a.m. It's not that early. Kind of nice for a change. The van sounds kind of funny. Almost sounds like it's whining like, uh, I don't want to go to work. That's how I feel. I feel ya. It's Friday, so I'm gonna go to work today and hopefully, hopefully I can finish my electrical tomorrow and Sunday. This is it. Yes, I'm gonna go to work before I'm late. Oh crap. So I'm done work. The time is, I don't know what time it is. It is 6.43 p.m. It's an early night. This hardly ever happens to me. And I get to go home and have a relaxing evening, go to sleep, wake up, and work on the van. <sighs> we can do this. stoppers just to kind of hold it in place. This is a 70 amp fuse. Close to the positive. It seems like, yeah, let's do it. Four gauge wire. Which side is going to best suit my application? Five sixteenth of an inch. That's a good size. All right, so my first wire is done. I feel like an idiot. So now we're gonna do one of equal length as this one. It's gonna go from the positive to the out positive on here. Uh, I think I damaged some of the wire. It's probably gonna be fine. Let's crimp it. there is some kind of grommet under the glove box under the carpet. I don't know how to get my wires past the firewall from the engine bay into this space. Let's find that grommet. Maybe I'll just cut the carpet here. This is a project. Oh shoot, okay there's like this foam stuff under there. Some styrofoam. Hmm. Tell, tell us your idea. <laughs> My idea? We yeah. Drill a hole in the bottom of the car with uh, the extra long drill bit. <laughs> That's huge. That's massive. We found a good spot. You want to show the spot first? Okay. I'm trying to wire two wires, a negative and a positive, from my starting battery into into the car. Okay. I cut some carpet, trying to find a, a grommet. Then Dan had this idea of pulling off this to access under here. And there's some wires that go from here into the bottom of the vehicle. We want to drill a hole right there. You can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I like that. Tungsten feel. Oh yeah, is that gonna screw up your white balance? No, I don't I don't care about white balance. <laughs> Sorry, Phil Eterno. Just I can still see. Okay, I'm on the floor. Oh. Okay, I think I'm ready. Oh shoot. What? The wire jiggled. Not gonna work. 
Can we do that from the bottom? Okay, I'm going for a shorter drill bit. The long one failed. The long one failed. So we're going regular. Regular size, all right. Oh, okay, let me look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's great. I can, I can probably handle the rest, eh? Two holes. I'm gonna make them bigger. I'm gonna file it and then I'm gonna spray it with Rust-Oleum. Okay, things are in progress. So that just now has to sit for, I think, a couple of hours. It's especially frustrating because I have to go to work tomorrow. And if things aren't done, it just kind of sits there for another week. I am going crazy. Uh, the holes just aren't big enough. I just can't get the holes big enough. So I keep drilling and spraying and drilling and spraying. I just, I don't, I don't have a knack for this. This is, this is, uh, I think that's a better size. Let's see. Seems to be good. Good. All right, we'll let that sit. Also, I wrecked the grommet, so I gotta go buy another one. Back to Home Depot. So that's my 80 amp fuse right there. Okay, so we're getting places. I've got the first wire coming through and here it is, following it up. And here's the end. We're gonna keep pushing it through until we have it uh, where we want it. Grab what we've pushed, thread it through, send it back and route the wire straight up. And this is where it's going, I believe. That looks good. That's a good length. Oh, sweet! Let's see what we can do. Push this through. Send it up. Send it up there. Just trying to send it along this wire here, all the way through to the other side, which I think you might be able to see there. I can see the light. I don't know if you can see this madness. There's the wire. See, it's jiggling. Still coming up along that other wire, and it goes underneath here. Here it is. Some of this stuff might get hot, so I'm gonna have to put some split loom on it. Yeah, I'm gonna route it here to the fuse, so that's where that's gonna go. So I was pretty dumb, and I didn't put chalk blocks on the back wheels this time, and I was like, oh no, it'll be fine. I've pushed my car over, and look at my jack stand, it's completely warped. Dang it. There we go. The, wheel, oh, the wheel's just touching. I was just like, ah, oh, no, just get it done, just get it done. But that's Is it fine. actually bent? No, it's fine now. It was just, while it was under stress, it was bad. Now it's okay. What the heck? It's straight. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Where does this go, though? Yeah, there's no, there's no good spot right there. Okay, anyways, thank you. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, emergency brake is up. I think I have a safe route to route this wire. So it's in place. I'm gonna cut this and work on the negative. I think we're good. Oof, keep going, keep going. I just don't know how I'm gonna add the lugs to these now. It's 6.30 p.m. We're gonna get this done. We're gonna get this done, we're gonna get this done. Time crunch. Do this on the ground here. Reminds me of when I was born. That's nice. It's a good connection. Sweet. It's time to push up the second wire. This is gonna be the negative one from the DC to DC charger to the starter battery. Here we are. 
pulling up that negative wire. Let's keep pulling. Keep pulling. It's going right through there, through the messy seat. It's so gross down there. Okay, yeah, so this negative wire is going to go right there on the top right. Because also this negative is going to go here as well. Let's keep, keep going. Okay, now we've got these ends ready to go. These are the ones going into the engine bay, so I'm going to thread them right up. Also, I'm going to add some split loom. Time to send her up. We're going to zip tie you off, baby. Pretty solid, mate. Okay, so time's up. I haven't connected them to anything, so they're not live, they're dead. If I drive around for a week and inspect everything to make sure that nothing's melted, then we're good. Yeah, that's it, I'm going to bed. It's 9.30 and I probably have to wake up stupid early. Yeah, I'm gonna go shower and go to bed. Can you tell I'm absolutely exhausted? I'm destroyed. That's enough for this weekend. I'm very happy with the progress I made. I can't believe I did all that. I got a lot done. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> That was, that was hard. So, pat on the back and <sighs> onward and upward.